Welcome to Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about selective breeding. What do these animals and plants have in common? They are all products of selective breeding. Suppose you want a variety of cows that produce a lot of milk. This is what you could do. Find the cows in your herd that produce the most milk. Only let these cows reproduce. After they reproduce, find the offspring that produce the most milk. Only let these reproduce. Keep re repeating this process until you achieve your goal of having cows that produce the most milk. The key here is to identify the feature you want and only breed from the individuals that have this key feature. Selective breeding is the process by which humans use animal and plant breeding to develop particular traits by choosing which animal or plant will produce and have offspring together. Selective breeding of both plants and animals has been practiced for many years. Key species such as wheat, rice, and dogs have changed significantly from their wild ancestors by selective breeding. Selective breeding was practiced by the Romans. Let's look at a couple examples. Look at these two dogs. The Chihuahua and the Great Dane shows a wide range of dog breed sizes using selective breeding. Look at this corn. The Teosinte looks very different than modern corn. This corn was produced by selective breeding. Take a look at the variety of carrots created by selective breeding. Sometimes selective breeding can produce harmful outcomes. Because the perfect racehorse needs to be both fast and light, selective breeding has focused, it, focused on thoroughbreds with huge muscles and light bones. Although thoroughbreds have become much faster over the years, they have also become much more fragile. So there we go, selective breeding, finding and producing the trait that we like. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.